Hi everyone, my name is Sarabjit Kaur and I am a computer teacher by profession and I have started a series to make a videos on C++. In my today's video, I am going to talk about looping statements. We have three loops in C++, while loop, do while and for loop. We are going to discuss these three loops with the help of example. And before starting this video, I request you all to please subscribe my channel and do hit the like button also. So in this video, I'm going to talk about looping statement and we are going to talk about while loop first. See, uh, if we want to work with the loop, we need three things. Okay. First thing, initialization of a variable. Second is condition of a loop. And the third is the increment of a variable. These three things make a loop as a successful loop. Okay. So I am repeating again. We need three things to run a proper and successful loop. First is initialization. Second is condition and third is increment or decrement that you have required in your program. Okay, so in the while loop, I'm going to first make a program. In this program, I'm going to print a series which starts from 1 and ends at n. It means the stop value is entered by the user. Okay, I'll start my loop from 1 but I end my loop at n and I'll take that value from user. So my series is, I'm writing this series in a comment that first I will print 1, then I will give some space and then I'll give 3 value and 4 and so on up to n. Okay, so for this loop, I required a variable that will start my loop. So I'm going to initialize a variable, a is equals to 1. After taking a variable and after storing a starting value in the variable, you need to take the value at the point you want to stop. It means n is the point where we want to stop our loop. Okay, so we will take that value from the user. So I'm going to write enter the stop value of the loop. You can write down any message that you want. I'm writing this message enter the stop value of a loop after writing this message you have to take that value with the help of c in c uh, this is the starting value if i'm talking about initialization so this is the initialization where i have written a is equals to one so this is the initialization okay so i'm writing here initialization after writing initialization you will start your loop by assigning a condition to the loop so i'm going to write while and start the bracket of the condition inside this parenthesis you will write a condition it means condition will check the stop point so i'll write my condition as a is less than equals to n Okay, so a is less than equals to n is a condition. A is recently a, the value of a is 1 and a will work till n and n is entered by the user. So I'm going to make the body of the while and inside the body of the while I will print the value of a because a is a variable which handle all the values from 1 to n. So I will print the value of a with some space because I want some space between all the values that are going to print as an output. So slash t will give us the space between two values. Initially the value of a is equals to 1 and we will check this condition here that a 1 is less than equals to n. Suppose n is 5. Okay. Suppose user has entered the value of n equals to 5. So I'm going to check the condition as 1 is less than equals to 5. If the condition is true, 1 is less than equals to 5. 1 is less than, not equals to, but it is less than. So the answer of this condition is true. When this answer will be true, then while will work and then while will print the value of a. So the value of a is 1. So on the screen, 1 will be printed. And with the slash t space will come 
after 1. And now we require to make the value of 1 as 2. So we need to increment the variable by writing a is equal to a plus 1. So by writing this expression, the value of a will become 2. So again, compiler will check the condition like this. 2 is less than equals to 5. If the condition is true, then again while will print the value of a as 2. Okay. And then compiler will give space also. And after giving the space, we will again increment the value of a. Now a will become 3. And this process will work till 5 because we have taken the value of n as 5 as an example. Okay. So, in this way, our program will work. Now, I am going to execute this program. I have made this program with the help of while loop. In the while loop, I have made three sections. First is initialization that is here. Next is condition that is written inside the parenthesis of while loop. And the third thing is increment that I have written here. This is increment. So, these three things will help while loop to work properly. Okay, so now I'm going to execute this program by saving. I have saved this program and I'll build this program. So there is one error that I have not declared n. So I missed that. I'm going to declare n like this. And again, I'm going to save this program and I'll run this program. So, this uh, screen will asking us to enter the stop value of the loop. So, I am going to enter 8. So, 8 is my stop value and I, I have pressed enter key. So, this is my series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay. I think this while loop is clear to you. Now, we will convert this program in do while. So, in do while, we always write the condition at the bottom. So, I will put this condition at the end of the block. So, I am going to write while condition here and I will write do in the place of while. So, this program is converted into do while. So, in this way, you can make your program in do while. You can convert the while loop in do while. Only you have to remember that in the case of do while, your condition comes in the bottom of the loop. And in the starting of the loop, you have to write down do keyword. Okay. So, I am going to run this program. I have saved this program and I am going to run this program. Program is working properly and I will give a value 6. So, this is my loop. Now, loop is printing from 1 to 6. So, I think do while is also clear to you. And now, I am going to convert this program in for loop. So, in for, we need not to initialize the variable in the starting. We just declare the variable here. And we will initialize this variable inside the loop. Okay. So, see how I will write for. After taking the value of n, you will write for loop. And first, you will initialize the variable. Then, we will write condition. And then, we will write increment section also. Here. So, I have written a plus is equals to 1. And start parenthesis and print the required data that you want to print. So, I want to print a with the help of slash t and put the semicolon at the end of this statement. Save this program and execute this program. And now I am going to enter stop value as 34. So, this is the series which starts from 1 and ends at 34. Okay. This way you can print a loop using three different techniques and three different techniques are while, do while and for. Okay. So, I think this loop concept is clear to you. If you want to learn any program under these loops, you can mention that program name in the comment box. I'll surely make the video on that program. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.